Just in this thing. Just pick one and go. <clears throat> ah, yes. Start let the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken. Doubtless said I, what it utters is its only stock in store. Caught from some unhappy master, whom unmerciful disaster followed fast and followed fast the... <sighs> till his song one burden bore, till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore of never, never more. But the raven still beguiling my sad fancy into smiling straight, I wheeled a cushioned seat in front of bird and bust and door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to the linking fancy unto fancy, thinking what this ominous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining, on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er, but whose velvet lining, no, sorry, but whose velvet violent, violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er, she shall press, ah, nevermore. Then methought the air grew denser, perfumed from an un unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Rex, I cried, thy God had lent thee, by the angels he had sent thee, respite, respite, and nepathy from thy memory, soft Lenore. Quaff, oh, quaff this ne kind nepathy, and forget this lost Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, whether temptest sent, or whether temptest tossed thee here ashore, desolate, yet all undaunted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore. Is there, is there balm and gillard? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by the God we both adore, tell this soul with sorrow laden, if the distant, if within the distant Aden it shall clasp the saint and maiden whom the angels named Lenore, clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. But that word, word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shriek, shrieked up starting. It's getting a bit dodgy here because no one ever lets me get this far. But two more. And he that you... word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked up starting. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart, and take thy form from off my door, quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting, on the placid bust of palace just above my chamber door. All his eyes have all the seeming of a demon that is dreaming, and the lamp light o'er him streaming through his shadows on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be living, lifted. Ah, oh, I blew the ending. Ark shall be lifted nevermore. Fiend. No, I'm not.